everyone. I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitching. Today is St. Patrick's Day. Yay! <laughs> Happy March 17th, everyone. This is video number 60. Um, so a big hello to all the returning viewers and a big hello to the new subscribers as well. Welcome. My videos are about cross stitch. Sometimes I have some quilting to show, like today I received a fantastic gift a beautiful quilt and if I were ever to pick a reason why I took quilting classes years ago now I don't quilt anymore but I did take quilting classes and if I were going to look at a picture of a quilt and and say that is the reason why I want to take quilting classes this is the reason because I love this quilt it's gorgeous and um anyway a friend of mine made me a beautiful quilt so I will be showing this in just a few minutes and I have cross stitching stuff to share. Today's video is going to be about stash. Now I do show some stash and some new charts and things that I have purchased, but I have a stack that's been going since like November that I haven't filed away. I have all my charts filed away, alphabetical order, and I received a lot of um, fun things. I ordered a project bag that I really thought was beautiful that I'd like to show. So today is about stash. Today is about all the haul that I've gotten and I'm going to spend more time on that today than anything else. But I do have some cross stitching news. Um, so if you're here for cross stitch you've come to the right place. I do talk a little bit about crochet and knitting which I I have worked on my knit blanket but it's not enough to show. I'm probably not going to show it till it's finished because I've only got you know a few rows left. And I've shown it before in a couple videos past. So let's talk about cross stitching news and life updates, which I'll talk about at the end. So over the weekend, I started noticing comments on your comments on my YouTube channel. So if you guys happen to have made a comment on mine and started seeing some weird replies, just ignore them. There were several YouTubers this weekend that were spammed or hacked, whatever you want to say. And it's so people don't have enough to do in this world, I guess, that they have to annoy people or, you know, try and <laughs> people are so stupid. Anyway, if you happen to see a reply to one of your comments and it said something like, I don't know if you care, but I just hacked my girlfriend's account, something stupid, ignore it. Don't click it. Don't reply to it. Just ignore it. So since then, I have changed my YouTube and Google password, and I've had no problems since. Because I get notified when you get a reply, and I've gotten no replies since then. I mean, I, I, other than normal, regular people that have watched my videos, not the hackers. Um, so if you happen to see those stupid messages come up that say a weird comment about being, I hacked my girlfriend's account on your reply, just ignore it. Not a big deal. They should have stopped already. So we did contact Google, um, uh, YouTube, Google, whatever. My husband talked to him and we changed my password and it has not happened again. So I wanted to throw that out there in case you saw some weird comments thinking, why is she writing back to me? It wasn't me. <laughs> it was pretty obvious. It wasn't me. Okay, let's talk about Al Forest. Now, Al Forest is one of my favorite websites. It's one of my favorite designers. You may have heard on my Facebook group, which is Stitching and then Numbers 911 on Facebook. I always try and post cross stitch news if it may affect your orders. If I can find some new release design charts out there, I post it in my Facebook group. And I try and also post on my Instagram. Instagram is 911 Stitcher, all spelled out in letters, just like my YouTube channel. So Al Forest Designs had a fire. I believe it was on um, last Thursday or Friday, maybe, maybe a little bit before that. So the fire wasn't actually at their homes and it was at the data processing center where their website is located. So the website's been down. If you've tried to look at your order status and you see the website's down, don't panic. It just, it, like I said, the website itself, where the people can, you know, um, put up the website, they had the fire and I don't 
think there were injuries. I don't, I think Al Forrest said that they didn't know of any injuries, but it was lots of, lots of property damage. So be patient with Al Forrest. And um, I know that they said existing orders are being processed. It is going to be a lot slower though. So if you go to the website, try to check an order, you're going to see some Russian writing. I translated it. It says, an accident occurred in the data center where our website is located. Restoration work is underway. Orders placed being shipped with a slight delay. So don't panic. They do have your order. It's just that right now with no website to work off of, it's kind of hard. And that's why you can't make any new purchases. And I do have a new release from Al Forest, darn it, <laughs> to show you guys at the end. So like I said, keep in mind, you're not going to be able to purchase anything from the website. Don't panic if you have an existing order. It's going to be fine. Just be patient with them. Okay, let's move on. I had another question about Dutch Beauty. I show it here. It is that giant massive chart that I decided to do on dark color fabric. I have been working on it, but I really don't have enough to show this video. I'll show it maybe next video. Someone asked me about the stitch count. Now I had trouble finding the stitch count as well. One, two, three stitch. If you pull it, if you search by Permin, which is the manufacturer or the designer, they are the very first Permin to pop up for me when I search by Permin on one, two, three stitch. Their stitch count shows 630 by 390. And someone asked, how do you figure your, your size of fabric? I use crossstitch.com, the calculator. It's fantastic. All you do is punch in, you punch in uh, the width, which was 630 by 390. You decide, you punch in, are you gonna use Ada? Are you going to use what count? So I put 32 for the count. I'm stitching over two. So two threads, it says over two stitching for linen. If you're doing Ada, you punch in 16 count Ada and you put over one. And then how big do you want your edge? How much room do you want from the edge for framing? I like three inches, so you punch in three and then calculate and it tells you what size of fabric and it tells you what size your finished piece will be. So that's what I use. I'll link it below. Again, it is crossstitch.com calculator. Someone asked on Dutch Beauty, the Permin chart that I just showed, will the brown color at the bottom show up? I have not gotten to that color yet. So once I do, I'll let you guys know. I have had to substitute just two colors. The rest are the called for colors. I mentioned in my last video that I'm doing a stitch along for my birthday, a brand new start. How could I not? My birthday's the 31st of March. I got together and messaged Shiloh from X Stitch MD. She has a floss tube and an Instagram account. She's also doing it. So we together said, you know what? Let's do a start. She asked me if I wanted to start on my birthday. And I said, no, that's okay. Let's, she had picked originally April 1st. So we're gonna do Quaker's Pride by Historica Stickmusta. This gorgeous chart. I've showed it before. Actually, you know what? Is this the whole chart? I don't know if my printer cut most of it off. So we're gonna, let me show a picture of it instead. So we're going to do this chart starting April 1st. It is a stitch along. I believe the hashtag is Quaker Pride Sal or Quaker's Pride Sal. Look on our Instagram account and it'll show. Um, but it will start April 1st. I am the dumbest person in the world and I'm going to be behind because my surgery, as I mentioned, is the 25th, Thursday, the 25th of this March. So it's just a few days away. I'm not going to be able to stitch this on April 1st. There's no way. So I'm kind of bummed because I'm going to start late, but please the stitch along, if you're joining start, cause I love, I would love to lay there in bed and watch all of your progress. <laughs> I'm going to be in bed for quite some time hooked to an ice machine. So um, please pro please start with Shiloh on April 1st and I'll join you guys just as soon as I feel good enough to stitch. Now, because I'm going to be on heavy pain medication for a while, I'm not going to be able to look through my magnifier. There's something about it that makes me dizzy and sick and stitching, looking up, you know, looking at directly at a stitch chart is not going to work. So I'm not trying in crochet and knit, but um, stitching is not going to happen. So I will be behind on the April 1st stitch along, but that's okay. I'll catch up to you guys and I can't wait to see your progress. 
I ended up getting fabric for that chart I just showed by Fabric Flare. It is so pretty. Look at that gray color. Isn't that gorgeous? Fabric Flare. And they sent some uh, extra little test swatches from other color fabric to try that, I, it, that it's big enough to stitch on. I'll show you in a few minutes. So this is my gray. That's pretty true right there. It is called Hazy Gray from Fabric Flare. That's what I'm going to use to stitch this on. And I'm going to use DMC. I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and got the colors. 815. I'm using Black Anchor 403. I'm using 414. And I am using B5200 because I want a bright white. So these are my colors. And I think that's going to look so pretty. So yeah, this fabric flare was perfect. Shiloh's the one that actually mentioned the fabric flare. So it's my first time trying, trying that fabric. So I will be starting this probably mid-April. This is not going to be started for me um, on the first. Unfortunately, I just forgot all about how bad I'm going to be feeling after the surgery. So anyway, hashtag, like I said, I'm going to link it below because I think it's hashtag Quakers Pride Sal. And again, on Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want to lo list your progress on. I'd love to see it in my Stitching 911 group, wherever you want to show it. Um, I'll be watching for both. So I, I'll be following your progress. Okay, giveaway winners. We had some giveaways. Um, Galeana Cross Stitch Design, Elaine was so kind to offer us a giveaway to a winner to stitch Highland Fall. That's her newest chart. I'll show a picture of it here. And the winner for the Highland Fall chart from Elaine at Galeana Cross Stitch Design is Geneva Clark. I'm gonna show the winner here. I uh, decided to start taking a screenshot of the winner to show the name and the comment that they left. I think that's so fun. And I wanted to show, hopefully it's okay, Elaine doesn't, no, you know, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna refer you to her website or to her Facebook group. It is Galeana Cross Stitchers, Cross Stitch. I'll list it here. Her Facebook group, Elaine herself, Stitch the Design. She is uh, the designer for Galeana Cross Stitch. And she finished it with beautiful different colors of the leaves around the around the deer. And um, I thought it was so pretty. So take a look at her Facebook group and join everybody as they stitch along with the Galeana designs. The next giveaway I had was for, it's over here, Yield Gold. I had a lot of it. This was a color I thought about using and I ordered a lot of it for Dutch Beauty. Turns out it didn't work at all. So Yield Gold, I'm sending a, several winners some, slipping out of my hands. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna send several of you guys. Um, I picked three winners for Yule Gold. It is by Classic Color Works. The winners are Judy Stone, Chris Cross Stitches, and Lucia Bomia. Congratulations, you guys. Uh, get a hold of me. Now, keep in mind, if I don't hear from you within the first few days of this video getting out, it's getting closer, my surgery date, so getting this to you in the mail might be delayed. So hopefully I hear from you guys right away. I can mail it out next week and you guys can get it beforehand. I do have giveaways for this video. Those for sure are going to be delayed in shipping. I'll announce the winners next week, but you're more than welcome to enter. So congratulations, you guys. Let's talk about some things I've been working on. I worked some on um, Dutch Beauty which like I say, progress wise, wasn't that great. So I'm not gonna show it. This one is so cute. Raccoon Rabble, Plum Street Sampler. Now, speaking of Plum Street, another question I had, somebody asked me, hey, do you remember a Bigfoot chart? Someone released a Bigfoot chart recently and I'd really like to get it. Yes, 
In fact, I just saw that Garon Stitchery, he's another go-to. He's another one of them. I see what I mean. I knew I would forget some stitching shops that are some of my favorites. Garon Stitchery, they are based in Florida, I believe. Fast, fast shipping. I'm not kidding you guys, it's fast. Like we're talking 30 minute fast. That's how my last order, that's how long it took. <laughs> 30 minutes, it was in the mail. So someone asked about the Bigfoot chart by Plum Street. I've got two of them, the Abominable Snowman and Bigfoot himself. I'm gonna show them both here. Those are now available through lots of shops, but I did notice that Garon Stitchery has them available. I think he posted it just yesterday or today. So that is Plum Street. Here's another Plum Street Raccoon Rabble that I've been working on. Is that the cutest thing? Look at that baby. I'm doing mine over two on 32 count. The baby is all over one. So be aware of that. Ada Stitchers, you're going to have a little bit of trouble, but it's doable. And um, so, so cute. You know, another thing I thought of too, if you really didn't, if you're really on, if you're on Ada and you're really struggling with the over one, which is going to mean splitting your little square in like force going up and splitting it. If you have trouble with that, you could always leave him off and still have a really cute raccoon chart. Because so far I'm about down to here and I haven't had any more over one other than the baby. So it could be stitched on Ada, no problem. It's just that you're going to have to split the baby. You're, you're gonna have to split the little square. You'll see it when you get to it. So here's my progress. I'm using Fortnite fabric. 32 count. I don't remember the color, but isn't that cute? Look at the baby. So you can see maybe how tiny, tiny those stitches are on the baby compared to the other raccoons. The other raccoons are strictly just regular cross stitch where the baby split. You know, he's, he's, I say split because of Ada stitchers. If you're using 32 count, it's not a problem. They're just teeny, 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 tiny stitches. I don't know if that's better, if you can see it. So very cute. Raccoon Rabble. I'm enjoying it. Hopefully the next time you see it, it will be finished. The next one I worked on, I got some good progress. Elaine, again, I'll mention her from Galliana Cross Stitch Designs, offered in that group I told you, just showed you, she offered a challenge. She said, anybody want to do a thousand stitch challenge this weekend with me? And I said, yep, I'm in. So I'm working on House of Christmas in variegated floss, 115 DMC. I did meet the challenge. I got a thousand stitches plus in, here's the DMC, variegated. Let's see if I can get this hair off of it. You can see a little bit of see the dark thread right here, variegation. So let's see it on my... I'm using vellum, 32 count vellum, and that's my progress. Isn't that pretty? So I love the variegation of 115, and um, I'm really enjoying stitching with it. Love DMC. So I got all that that tree, all the trees lined up. I got those all done, and that's my progress on House of Christmas by Galliana Cross Stitch Designs. I hope she has more challenges because it really pushed me to, to get a lot done. Last one I worked on, uh, Anzac, Long Dog Sampler, another one I love. I'm doing it all in black. I started up in here. Boy, I tell you, this part here below the kangaroo is what I worked on. That's not easy because here you've got straight stitching, you know, you've got some designs, you, the kangaroos, you get an idea, you can just count. But in here, I'll show it closer, in all these squiggly lines, I don't know why it was not that easy. <laughs> I'm doing this on a piece of seraphim fabric. I think it's Dusty Road, all in black. Anchor 403, I think I'm using. And this is my progress. So you can see the squiggly lines. I got the snake done. The snake is right here. His little thing, his little tongue. 
And those squiggly lines, though, they're not that easy because you're kind of all over the place. I'm happy with that. I think it's so cute. Those koala bears, the fighting kangaroos, boxing kangaroos. So that's Anzac by Long Dog Sampler. That's what I've worked on. Okay, we are going to talk about giveaways for this video. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you some stash and let's just go ahead and do giveaways now. Two giveaways, all green because it's St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> so this is a set of classic color works. One winner is going to receive, no, two winners. Do I have two? <gasps> two winners. Let's see one. You are going to receive five, so this is actually two winners that I'm going to draw, classic color work colors in green. We've got chop chives here. We have holly, jolly holly, English ivy, bean sprout, and grasshopper. So you're going to get one of each two winners. So if you want classic color works, your keyword is classic. So somehow in your comment below, just put down, you don't even have to make a comment. You could just put, you're interested in the classic floss. DMC. That's going to be your next word is DMC. Someone's going to win this whole set. So one winner gets, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two of them are variegated, and the rest are all DMC greens. So if you're interested in, a, in interested in the DMC green pack, just put DMC. Those are the two giveaways. Okay, let's talk about haul and stash. Charts, bags, floss, kits, everything I've bought in the last couple of months. Let's dedicate some time to showing you guys what I got. First of all, I want to show you a quilt that is so beautiful. And again, this is the reason why I wanted to become a quilter at one time because of, of a quilt like this. This is just gorgeous. So if you aren't familiar with witchy stitchers on FlossTube, and I think they're on Instagram, I know they have a Facebook group. So check them out on Facebook because I'm part of that also. Uh, witchy Stitchers is a mother-daughter team. It is Charlene and Morgan. They're a lot of fun, and Charlene wanted to make me a quilt for my surgery, and I have to show you guys. So it is just, I'm going to have to stand up for this. It's so beautiful. I can't even tell you. So this quilt has animals on the back. She knows I love, oh, I've got my shepherd right behind me. <laughs> there we go. Look at this amazing, beautiful quilt. I'm going to try and have it on the wall behind me in my next video. See if my husband can hang it for me. So it is just fantastic. It's so big. I don't know if I'll be able to show the whole thing, but I'll show it in pieces. Let me get closer. Isn't it cute? Isn't it just beautiful? And wait till you see the back. I don't know which is cuter. <laughs> Look at the back. You guys know raccoons have a special meaning to me. Um, they, it's very, raccoons are very special to me. So that's the fabric on the back. But the front has everything from Snoopy to patriotic to everything. It's just so cute. Let me show. It's so big. I can't. <laughs> Look at that. I, like I said, I can't get the whole thing in. It's just so big and beautiful. So this is definitely going to be laying next to me or on top of me while I am recovering after my surgery. Look at the animals and the kitties. <laughs> Let me turn it upside down and that way you can see the rest. I just, I'm just, there's, I'm speechless. Look at the horses. Horses have a special meaning to me, too, because I grew up with them. And that's the quilt that Charlene made me for when I recover 
from my surgery. <laughs> Look at these babies, they're so cute. Every time I open up the quilt, I see something new. I see a new picture or something that I haven't seen before. So thank you guys. Thank you, Charlene and Morgan, so much. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Let's show some more stash that I've got. I ended up getting a bag from Vintage, Vintage Owl Lady on Etsy. Very cute bag. Sorry. I'm going to put it, link it below also. So this is the bag. Look at the eggs and the bird. So I bought this from her last week. She shipped immediately. And then here's the back. These are beautiful bags, you guys. Check them out on, um, again, on Etsy. A funny thing is it kept getting sold and I'd try and get it. And so she finally said, hey, I listed another one. So I went to go get it and it was sold. I delayed, I something. I think the phone rang or something, but it is just adorable. So I got that. Um, her name is Susan. Oh, it's a Susan and um, Susan and Amelia. There's two of them. Okay, other stash that I've gotten are my classic color works. This is what the floss of the month look like. They come to me every month from the Fat Quarter Shop without fail. They've been fantastic. I have some a blue set, which was January. I have March is all green. So here's this. Blues and greens, really pretty. I tell you what though, the Fat Quarter Shop has never disappointed me. They have been really great with shipping. Okay, remember when I said that I ordered that fabric from Fabri Fabric Flare, the hazy gray? They sent two pieces for me to try, big enough for me to make a small on. Now look at this. I don't know what it's called because they didn't list a name, but that's pretty. And this was just a sample that they sent. What a great idea for people like me who don't have an LNS nearby that sells fabric of color, you know, a dyed colors. So here's another one. A, look at the size of this piece. I could easily get two smalls on here. And you know what? I don't have my whiteboard, so let's just put it up against this so you can see. It's kind of a pinkish color. There you go. What a great thing, though, sending samples for us to... I will definitely order from Fabric, Fabric Flare again. In fact, I already have another order for more hazy gray because I love the color so much. Here's another color I got. And again, how come I don't remember what it is? This was an actual piece that I ordered. I'll try and list it below, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? I will list the color. Actually, I'll list it here if I can find it. So Fabric Flare. They send samples. I think that's a great idea because you and me, we don't, a lot of us who don't have shops near us, it's a great way for us to see other fabrics in person without having to buy them, get them, and then go, oh, it's not the color I wanted, or I don't like the feel of this, or you know how it goes when you order fabric that you haven't seen in person. Let's so sh show some more haul. Now, these are different types of charts that I got this one. Let's see, I don't know where I got this one, but I got, uh, this was shown on Brenda and the Serial Starter Floss Tube. It's called Henrietta Bins 1837 by the Scarlet House. Now, the reason I got it is definitely not for this picture. I got it because whoever worked on it or showed it, and maybe I saw it on Instagram as well, the blues are so bright. It's such a prettier chart in person than it is on this picture. Actually, I was surprised when it came in. I thought, I ordered this. <laughs> and I, but then I remembered how pretty it was stitched up with those blues. And I also got some primitive hair charts from Isabel. She sent me lots of fabric as well that I ordered. First one I got because I saw it on Natalie from the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche. She has a floss tube and a Facebook page or a Facebook group, Pumpkin Pie. Now this one is gorgeous stitched up. 
you're probably thinking a pumpkin pie recipe. I think it's, if you saw Natalie's, you would just go, oh, I have to have that because it's so cute. So beautiful. So pumpkin pie by Plum Street, I'm sorry, by The Primitive Hair. I think one of these that I'm going to show, I didn't see it on Isabel's Etsy shop on of the primitive hair. So I messaged her. I said, hi, you know, hi, Isabel. I don't see this particular chart. Maybe it wasn't this. It was um, one with a red cardinal on it. It was made into a pin drum. And I messaged her and she said, oh, yeah, I'll send it to you. It's just not listed. So if you ever see a primitive hair, message her because she very well may get it to you, even though it's not listed in her Etsy shop. So anyway, that's pumpkin pie by the primitive hair. The next one I got is Red Riding Hood. All of these fabrics are done on Old Salem by the Primitive Hair. This one, I don't know if it shows. Bolin, 30 count Bolin by the Primitive Hair. Um, but anyway, you can see it's kind of a coffee dyed background. I love that. This red and black, that's so awesome. The next one I got from the Primitive Hair, Snow White. This is stitched on Old Salem as well. I have a pic, I have a thing of, okay, here's Bolin. And here is Old Salem. So this is what came because I ordered them. Old Salem comes like this. It's real crusty looking. If you can see how crusty it is kind of, it's perfect for these charts. Bolin is a little bit different. It's got like the old fashioned writing on it. So you can see that's the background for the fabric. And then I got another one from Isabel. This one is called White Flakes and it's got snowflakes. It's like it's stamped fabric. All available through her Etsy shop. Very cool. I love the old Salem though. It's so it's gonna look so good on these um, charts. Here's a chart that I got from. All of these came, and I have it written down somewhere. These all came from this website. I don't know if you can see it. Le Poi de Croix, de Croix, oh de Croix. Dot com. So all the charts I'm going to show in the next few minutes, and you know what, I'm going to type it out and show it here. Awesome website. Took a little bit of time to get here to get it shipped, but it arrived and I will definitely order from them again. They are a French website. Now remember, you can copy and paste a website that's in another language, put it through Chrome or put it through a different web, you know, a search engine like Google, it'll translate for you. So even though it's in a different language, I was able to order, have it shipped, no problem. So this one I thought was just adorable. Isn't that cute? So I got him, this one's called Seasonal Collection Christmas Scenes. And this is by them. <laughs> Girl Pointe Quoi. Isn't that cute? So that's the name of this one. Um, the next one I got, Sampler Africa. You know me and my animals. I love to stitch animals. So that's called Sampler Africa. This designer, her name is Isabel Vautier. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to put, I'll put it below so you guys can see. Isabel Hacourt Vautier. Anyway, samplers, Sampler Africa. The next couple charts are all from the same designer. I love that. This one's translated uh, on the India road. This reminds, this is very special to me because it reminds me of my trip to India last year, two years ago. I think that's gonna be so pretty and I would like to use red. So here's the name, Sur la route des Indus which translates to On the India Road. And again, it's Isabel. I'll put her in the notes so you guys can... Uh... The next one, Mystery Sampler. 
at that. Wouldn't that look pretty in that variegated 115 red? Yeah, that, that would be really pretty. So there are is like a crown, there's a cat, there's a lion, a deer. That's a really pretty chart. And the last one from Isabel, the designer, this is called Welcome Winter. Let's put that up close. The chart, let's open this up a little bit. The charts are very, very thin. The paper quality is very thin. There we go, much better. So hello winter, let's see, welcome winter. There's the actual name of the chart in French. So that's gonna be really pretty. Um, the chart quality itself, like I said, the paper's very thin. Um, but you know, you can see the chart pretty well. I just showed it for a second. But welcome winter. That's gonna be a pretty one. Two more that I got from the same website. Madame Lafie Christmas Carol. Isn't that cute? I've seen these stitched up. They are adorable. Totally adorable. And the other one by Madame Lafie Halloween Night. I think that's really pretty, those colors. The white, the black, the orange. I think that's beautiful. Um, the actual chart name is this. Translated Halloween Night. So those are the charts that all came from that website I told you about, the French website. Here's some more charts I got. Teresa Kogut, Faith, Hope, Peace, Love. Isn't that pretty? Let me show it up close. I get that glare off. That's a pretty house. And Halloween Quaker, cherished, cherished, <laughs> cherished stitches. <laughs> a Quaker Halloween sampler. This one doesn't look that big. Let's see if it is. And I don't see the stitch. Oh, here we go. 280 by 269. So it's a good size. That's cool. I like that. Cherished stitches. A Halloween Quaker sampler. Here's one that I bought. I thought it was a kit. It's not a kit. That's just the name of it. I got it from kittenstitcher.com. Alphabet blocks the whole kit and caboodle. Isn't that neat? I love the alphabet, how it has pictures of like E for elephant. I think that's really cute. And then it's got a name like at the end. What would I put there? I don't want to put that person's name. Like what is that? Jerry Malinovich. I guess I would put my name. So anyway, I think this, you know, I'm going to take this out. I'm gonna um, the little mermaids on here. That's a cute chart. So anyway, this is called Alphabet Blocks. The whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> That's so cute. Another one I got: Plum Street Samplers, The Flood, Animals. That was my first, let's take these out. Some of these uh, sticky papers are showing so blurry. So this is called The Flood by Plum Street Sampler. Look at those little animals, how cute. One of them's like a rhinoceros. I've never seen it. Zebras at the bottom, kangaroos, giraffes. They need to make more giraffe charts. <laughs> I think that's really cute. So this is called The Flood by Plum Street Sampler. Here's a bag that is, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Judy watches my floss tubes. 
Now, would you believe she mailed this the beginning of December and I just received it? Is this not the cutest bag in the world? Look at those naughty dogs. <laughs> and this is a little stocking with a bell. Isn't that beautiful? Black check. I love the black and red check. And then here's the back. Thank you, Judy. Thank you so much. This is so, oh my gosh. And it's a great size. It's a little bit bigger than some of my other bags. I really, really like it. Thank you, Judy. I can't believe it just arrived. And my friend Anne, she mailed me. Now she knew I was a little bear on my Valentine tree. I only had one, like one decoration. She sent me a kit, just a little heart and hand kit so that I can make up, I can stitch, put the charm on and have me a brand new Valentine decoration for next year. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anne. I really appreciate this. It means a lot to me. This will get stitched and I'll have another decoration for Valentine's. Okay, two kits that I got that are just, oh, I have one more primitive hair to show. And in fact, Isabel sent the floss to go with it. Aren't those pretty colors? I don't remember which one this goes to. I think it's pumpkin pie. I can't remember. So here's another one I got. The calendar that she has out right now. 2021 calendar. It has all these charts inside the calendar. So I'm going to show it up close so you can see what charts they are. Aren't they cute? Is that a snail? I think that's a snail. How cute. Anyway, all of these charts are listed inside of this calendar when you open it up and it's an actual wall calendar when you open it up like for instance here this is the bird you've got an actual calendar on the bottom and then just quickly you've got the picture of the bird and the chart itself so this is a great one this was available i think through her etsy shop as well the primitive hair i got fabric for them so they're going to be smalls Two kits I got. Oh my God, these are awesome. From Cross Stitch Antiques, directly from her. Now one of them's missing the fabric because she's going to send it to me later. She ran out of fabric, but she wanted to still mail me what she had. This one's going to be, she sent me DMC, the full kit fabric. And this is called Band of Roses 1845. Isn't that beautiful? So cute, so pretty. So this came as a full kit, Cross Stitch Antiques website. She's a really nice lady. Um, the next kit that I got, which will have the same fabric, this is May These Lines A Relic Prove. And it's a full kit. It's just missing a couple of flosses. I did get the silks, a Versois silks, and fabric it's missing the fabric so she's going to send that along shortly that's beautiful that was a release not too long ago this is quaker style friendship sampler i got this off of ebay if you google quaker friendship sampler ebay it comes up all donations for this chart it, it's a donation so all purchases of this chart go to pause P-A-W-S, it's a um, animal rescue. So of course I had to do that, but I love the black. I love how it's stitched in black. And here it is in color. So I think it's available elsewhere. I just don't know where. It says, Happy Stitching Becky, Samplers and Stutch. Her name is Rebecca out of Rhode Island. And again, all I did was Quaker style. No, I did Quaker Friendship Sampler on eBay and it came right up. I'll see if I can link it because I think she had, when I looked last night, she had six more left. And again, your purchase goes to a donation. So what better, what better thing? It's wonderful. How about this one? Foxy Fall from Far Away Designs. Now they have an Etsy shop. It is F-A-D for Far Away Designs. F-A-D Needlework, I think it's called. Foxy Fall. It's a Quaker fox. Isn't that cool? 
it's kind of like a Quaker, I guess. Would you call it a Quaker? I don't know, but I think I love it. So I'm not going to, I decided I'm not going to stitch this for a long time. I'm sending it to my friend. I've got so many other charts that I want to, like the ones I just showed that I want to do. So I'm going to send this to my friend Yantina so she can stitch it. Foxy Fall, Far Away Designs. And again, on Etsy, they're F-A-D Designs. I think they have an actual shop in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Not Tennessee, Mississippi, Olive Branch. They have an actual shop. This one was a gift from my friend Jenny. She stitched this. It came out so cute. Now, she, lo she knows I love animals and bugs. I love bugs. One of the best college courses I took was all on bugs. And it was so much fun. The Drawn Thread, The Menagerie. And let's make this easy. <laughs> It is now on the outside. It's really hard to see in this picture, but I think they're drag. Oh yeah, they're dragonflies. You won't be able to see it on the up in here, right there is dragonflies. The whole border, and they're all little bugs. I think there's crickets. There's crickets. Let's look inside. And it's got a saying on it. I wish you could see it a little bit better. But it's just, like I said, each line has different bugs in it. I see beetle, what looks like a beetle. Oh, this is so cute. A grasshopper, maybe? An ant. So when I start stitching this, I'll be able to show you guys better. But the chart itself is a little bit light to see the actual bugs. But anyway, this is Drawn Thread, the Menagerie. So she's finished with it, and she passed the stash to me. Okay, here's some Prairie Schoolers. Oh my gosh, I've got some great charts here. Prairie Schoolers. I've got Bump in the Night. I don't remember where I got these. But this is the, re this is the second. This is not the original cardstock. It's the real thin paper charts. Bump in the night. And then I got Country Seasons. This is just silly. The glare. Here is Country Seasons. All four seasons. Those are so pretty. I love when people do these on black. I think they, on black fabric, they just really stand out. I think they're so pretty. Here's one, Blackbird Designs. I got Raven Bewitched. That's gonna be a pretty one too. Somebody saw, or somebody showed a floss, on a floss tube some variegated floss. It was black and gray, or maybe like a black, somehow variegated black. It was, I'd like to know what it is. I can't remember what it was, but I think that might be pretty with this chart. Uh, let's see, a couple of charts from my friend Rita. This is Chessie and Me Blackbird House. Let's take this out. That's a cute one. That's a small little cute one. I love the pink house. I don't know if I've mentioned it in my other floss tubes, but um, that chart, Winter, Winter Rose Manor, a lot of people have done it in a pink floss for a pink house. And that has a lot of special meaning to me because my grandmother had a very bright pink house and she wouldn't have it any other way. She wanted her house to be pink. So she got pink. <laughs> I'll st I can still see it. It was just when you pull it up the street, you can see it because it was so bright. So anyway, that's a cute one. Chessie and me, Blackbird House. She sent me another chart too. Blackbird Design Glad Tidings. That's pretty too. I like these. Not a very big chart. It's actually pretty small. Uh, let's see if it's got a thread count on it. 113 by 93. So that's a small one. Glad Tidings. And one more, Midnight Stitching. I don't remember where I got this one. Faith, Hope, Love, Quaker Style. 
and that is by Midnight Stitching. Uh, last one, a book. No, nope, two more. This was my Christmas gift from my husband. I got two gifts, actually. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Red Rhapsody. He got me Red Rhapsody by Rosewood Manor. Isn't that pretty? I saw it on 123 Stitch. That would look good with that 115 variegated floss, too. It's pretty. And the other thing he got me for Christmas, Ruby by Carolyn Manning. That's gorgeous. He got me fabric and floss. You can't see it that well. Fabric and floss included. That's pretty, too. One more Prairie Schooler chart. We've got stockings and more. This is impossible to find, and I somehow found it on Stash Unload. Aren't those pretty? You know, I finished those two stockings from Blackbird Designs. Those are on the way to the finisher. So that is stockings and more. The last one I'm going to show is Kris Kringle. You guys know I love European-looking Santas. These are more, these are um, regular Santas, but they're all different. I think that's really cute. Kris Kringle. Okay, let's talk about some new releases that came out that I'd like to show you guys. Hands Across the Sea, the Norfolk sampler, Ellen Martha Whiting, 1879, is, is Nicola's newest release. Isn't that beautiful? I just think it's so pretty and a little bit different. Um, that came out just a few days ago, over the weekend, I believe. And then she released a smaller one, Emily Ann Foster, 1892. Nicholas said it's a little gem and it can be worked on Ada or Linen. <clears throat> Both of those are on the Hands Across the Sea website. Madame Chantilly came out with Hello Spring. They have an Etsy shop. Isn't that cute? And another one I'd like to tell you about, Country Cottage Needleworks, the May Sampler. That's really cute too. Another designer I'd like to show you guys is Blueberry Cottage. This is by Vienberg Designs. And I'm gonna show you the spelling of the design name. This is a beautiful one. I believe it's available as a PDF. And I love the blues. That's what attracted me to this is that be those beautiful blues. Blueberry Cottage. Two more, we've got Rivaris Carrot Set. Cute. And we've also got the Al Forest that I mentioned they had a new one earlier, Meadowland. And again, you have to give Al Forest some time to recover their website back uh, from the fire. Life update, I told you my surgery is Thursday the 25th. I am going to offer these two giveaways. Remember I told you your word is classic. Don't say the word giveaway in comments, whatever you guys do. Got to be 18. So two winners are going to win Classic Color Work Floss. Your keyword in comments, just put the word classic. And one person's going to win a bundle of DMC Green Floss. There's variegated floss in here. Beautiful colors. DMC is your keyword. Um, anyway, so if you put in for these two giveaways, I'll announce the winner in the video next week. Keep in mind, next week is my surgery. So I will do a video just before the date, but these are not gonna get shipped probably for a couple of weeks. So just keep that in mind. I will keep in touch with you winners and let you know um, when I feel you know good enough to get up to address these and package them. My husband can take them to the post office. So there might be a delay in mailing the giveaways, but please feel free. Like I said, we've got two, two people will win the classic color work colors, one DMC. Thanks, guys. I will see you next week. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody.